Hello and welcome back to another Pressy HD video. Today we have a career mode video. This time it's another player growth at full potential video. Now um these have been very rare recently. I did a Berahino one which had a really good response and an Oreo one which had a slightly less response but still had a good response nonetheless. And I am back with um a few more injection of these now with um Starting off with Simon Simone, Simon, Simon Scuffe, um, the young goalkeeper who plays for Udinese, of course. He first went into the game in FIFA 14 last year as an update. This time round, he has came back into it as a lot better player. He started off at 63 last year, I believe. He did go up slowly, but this year he starts off at 71, which is awesome. By the way, if you don't know what this series is about, um, it's not really a series, it's such just a collection of videos, then um, make sure you go and check out the Berahino uh, player potential video. That one is very, very interesting either way, but I do explain exactly what this series and idea is about. So either way, this is Simone Scuffe, Italian young goalkeeper, and because goalkeepers do peak at a much later age, for example, the likes of Vinyl Fella, 82 rated or whatever, and then he goes to like 88 in the second season, even though he's 33 years old. In my Everton career, Tim Howard has reached reached 84, even though he's 36 years old. Um, so it's a very, very interesting growth system for goalkeepers, and it can take a very long time for young goalkeepers like Scuffe to grow. He isn't really an exception to that. He does take pretty much the maximum full 15 seasons to really max out his growth. But I think if you really, really, really pushed, then he would be able to reach 89, 90 quite early. And his potential is 87. That's his base potential. But I got him to an 89 in the very last season of Carrillo. So this is the 15th season in. He didn't retire because he manages to do the full 15 seasons without retiring. Um, that's lucky, I suppose. But either way. He is an Italian youngster, and at the rating of 89, look at them goalkeeper stats. He's diving, he's handling, he's kicking, he's all excellent, his positioning is 91, reflex is 92, which is just awesome. And his only real bad stat, again, is uh, kicking, which isn't really bad at all. I think it's 88, is that, or 78, or something like that. I can't really see because of how small the uh, recording screen is. But Simon Scuffe is perfect. Play. He's the perfect player in career mode. This is what career mode's all about. Players like this. Players that grow so, so much and are very, very young. And he is the perfect road to glory keeper. For a championship club, he is just excellent. League One club, he would be amazing. And Premier League club could probably still hack it at the likes of Crystal Palace, Burnley, etc, etc. Um, not saying that Crystal Palace are bad. Just, you know, that sort of relegation threat team. And in this season, either way, Palace are relegation threatened and there is no two ways about it. But I'm not going to get into that debate. But uh, you can see, again, another thing that I've been spotting consistently is that their stats grow constant. So they grow as a constant thing. So um, if you like, stats grow consistently by the same amount. So say you have 60 kicking and 80 reflexes and they and then reflexes gets to 90, then kicking would have probably got around the 70 mark. So they all, on this year's career mode, seem to grow pretty consistently. There's not one singular stat which really normally stands out and there's not really all, always one singular stat which never grows if stats grow at all. So that is one thing which I've been noticing. Another thing is, um, skill attributes do in fact improve for goalkeepers, but quite slowly. You can see his volleys went up about seven, but again, that doesn't really matter over the course of 15 seasons. So his growth is plus 18. That is insane. I've given him an overall thought of five stars. Um, that's out of five, of course. That's based on the idea of, is he good for career mode? Is he good for certain teams? Is he on his growth as well, of course, and how he played in goal for me? No gameplay in this episode, unfortunately. I know that's been requested. I will be looking into that, but the next few episodes won't have gameplay of the players. I am sorry about that, but that's just the way that I've ended up laying out this series. But, again, I've gave him a five-star because he is the perfect player in career mode. Young, 
talented, hopeful for the future in real life as well. He's best suited for a three to four star team, I would say. Um, and a high league, high league club, it would be championship to Premier League, I would say. Maybe League One, if you were going to put the likes of, say, um, remember when Wolves were in League One last year, he would have been good in that team, I suppose. Um, his price range is normally available from one to four million. Now that is at the very beginning, so get him straight away. His unique selling point, Probably best growth on career altogether. He's got a great starting overall as well at 71. It does suit most teams, even if he was going to loan. And like I said, he is the perfect career mode player. If you were going to get an example of a perfect career mode player, this is the guy. What isn't... He is like literally made for career mode. He was born to be in career mode and to be bought multiple times. He's the best young goalkeeper you can get on the game. Better than Butland, um, of course, better than... Well, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. But, like I said, even if you was going to get a big, big team like City, loan him out and then bring him back eventually, and that's for about, I'd say, maybe even up to six loan spells. If you bring him back, then he's going to be better than the likes of Joe Hart by then. And his growth is just awesome. 18, that's the most growth that we've had so far in this little collection of videos. So again, like I said, he does suit most teams. So if you're a team like City, or even if you're a team like um, Blackburn Rovers, they would really suit you. Sorry, I was just trying to think of a championship club there. But again, I do thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. More career potential tutorials coming your way. There should be another episode of Career Mode on tomorrow, which is Monday, I believe, if I've got my schedules right. And that is pretty much it for now. So I will see you next time.